Hey, so I wanted to make a separate video about signing up to Coinbase because normally I trade on um, eToro. Uh, normally I just go there and I buy Bitcoin and I copy trade people and it's all fairly simple. If you don't know what that is, I'll, I'll leave a link in the um, description or I'll link to it sort of up here somewhere. There. There. But I wanted to find the other crypto exchanges. I wanted to buy other coins, smaller coins like EOS or like IOTA or just other things. I wanted to find out about them, ones which aren't listed on, on eToro. I wanted to buy Bitcoin because you then put them on other exchanges and transfer them for those other coins. But the first thing you do is you have to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum or some major big cap cryptocurrency. So I went looking and the, the one which popped up mostly was Coinbase, this one here. Uh, so this is just coinbase.com. I'll put a link again in the description. So I wanted to make the video because it's a bit of a hassle. I've signed up to exchanges in the past, to eToro and stuff, and they ask for all these like validation documents and they, they make you jump through a few hoops, which to me were quite frightening. So if someone hasn't done it before, um, kind of it makes sense to go through it. Now, now this one, Coinbase, I've kind of already, what I've done is I've come to this site and I've registered, I've put my name in, I've put my email address in. They sent me a, um, a link to my, uh, to my email to sort of verify my account, normal stuff when you sign up for a website. That's kind of where I am now. Okay, so here's my main screen in Coinbase. I've signed in. Uh, normally what they do is as you're signing up, they ask you to uh, put in your phone number and they send you an SMS to verify. They want to link your account to your phone. It's, you know, it's quite standard again with a lot of websites now. They want to, especially with exchanges where they're really kind of security conscious. Um, they want to link the account to a phone to make sure you are who you say you are. Now, um, I bypassed that step because I couldn't get the uh, verification message to come. What I can do here, because I have to do that before I can buy sell. If I go to buy and sell now, see phone number required. Uh, just here, your dashboard, this bit here shows the, the Bitcoin price over the last month. On this, you can either buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Litecoin. Those are the three currencies you can buy on Coinbase. Um, what I'm later going to do is transfer them to other exchanges to trade them for smaller coins, for other coins. But for now, that's it. Here it's, you know, complete your account. I've confirmed my email address. I need to add my phone number, then verify my identity, which is a bit of a hassle. Um, but all exchanges ask that. Then I have to add a payment method. My portfolio, I've got nothing. At the moment, I've got zero of everything. So I can go here to add your phone number. Um, so I'm going to add my phone number. This is actually an Italian SIM, so I've got to I just add it in here. And here I've already set up two-step verification. Hold on, I'll show you how to do that later. Okay, so they should have just sent me that code. Uh, we'll see if that comes through on my phone. And I'll just wait for that code now. And when it does, when it comes through, it's going to come through as an SMS to the phone number I put in. Um, and then I'll be able to put that in and I'll have added my phone number. So there we are, I've got a text message. So if I just go to my phone, I've got my messages and I can go here and your code is 2297206. So 2297206, put that in and boom, my phone has been verified. So there we are, my, my phone's been verified and I've just got another text message which says Welcome to Coinbase, download the app for more install. So there's a mobile app there which I can download as well, which I will do later on. But for now, that's it. So I've got on to the second step. I've confirmed my email address. I've added my phone number. Next one is verify your identity. Okay, so here's where it gets weird. Now, all right, let's, let's go to it and find out. So ID verification required, and it's loading this little screen. A lot of people get freaked out by this. I know when I first signed up to eToro, which does this as well, and I've signed up to about 10 exchanges now, and they all ask for this sort of stuff. So here we can see select ID types. They wanna see your passport or your driver's license or your photo ID, okay? So I'm gonna click photo ID. Choose an upload method. Okay, now what you can do here is you can either, all right, if I click webcam, it enables my webcam and it says, first, we need a picture of the front of your ID card. So you're meant to literally get your ID card out. I'm going to press OK. And you see this. Hello. So what you're meant to do is literally hold your card up to here. And when it's there, you click take photo and it will literally take the photo of your ID card. And it's really quite a simple way to get it to... Um, to upload to the site. Now I tried that a few times because I've done this with my ID card, the front, the back, 
uh, my driver's license, the front, the back. The problem is sometimes there's a lot of glare. A lot of glare comes off the webcam. It doesn't show up cleanly and it doesn't upload. You can try this method and it will, it will talk you through it and how to do it. You can try that method, but if it doesn't work, uh, if it doesn't work, the other way to do it, and the way that I found works with kind of all of the exchanges, is I just got my, my phone camera, and I just put my ID card like on a table, and I just took a photo of the front of my ID card, the back of my ID card. I did the same for my driver's license. The front of my driver's license, the back of my driver's license. So here, look, we see that one of the options was that one, the webcam. The other one is mobile camera. Upload from your mobile phone. So you can just upload photos you've taken. So you can take a photo and make sure everything's showing up clean. Make sure the text is clean and everything's, nothing's blurry. Take it in good light. And I found that is the quickest way. There's no delay. It went through and they all got verified. So look here, upload from your mobile phone. Click the link we just sent to blah, 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 five, nine, and upload photos of your ID. So, uh, you know, if I go back to my, um, my phone and have a look at what they've just sent me, hold on a second. So what they've just sent me here, they've sent me another message saying to verify your uh, upload, to verify your identity, upload photos of your ID, ID here. So there we are, they've given me a link so I can just take photos of my ID and upload it to that link and that's kind of great. And I found that's the easiest way to get through it all. Usually they ask for your ID um, and sometimes they ask for a utility bill. What they're trying to do is they're trying to uh, match what the address you've put in with an actual physical address in the world, you know? And a utility bill, like from an electricity company or a gas company or a cable TV company, just has to show your name, the address, and sort of the name or logo of the utility company. And that's what I used. Now, it's a, it's a bit of a pain, you know? What I did is I created a folder which just had my ID documents, photos of my ID documents in, and then I'd just upload them. I had them all sort of ready, you know? It becomes less of a hassle if you're signing up to lots of exchanges. That's what you have to do here. Um, so once once that's done, I'm not going to do that now because it can take like two or three days or five days or at the moment apparently because so many people are into Bitcoin and stuff and are signing up to Coinbase. There's big delays. It can be a week before they verify your account because they have to go through that manually and check that everything's okay. So if I do that now, it'll be a week before I finish this video. So uh, I'm not going to do it. But that's how you get through the verify your identity. The next one is add a payment method. And when you buy Bitcoin on Coinbase, that's where the money comes from. It'll come from your credit card or um, we'll see the options here. And also if you withdraw it from Coinbase, it'll go back obviously to that same account. So you have to add your, your account methods. So you can use a bank account for invest large amounts or you can use a, a credit or debit card. Please verify your identity before adding your card, uploading your ID. So you have to obviously have verified your identity before you can add the payment method, okay? Now, another thing which I wanted to show, so you have to go through these steps. It's just, it's a bit of a hassle and it looks difficult. I've seen other sites which are much worse. I've seen some crypto exchanges where you literally have to hold up your, uh, a piece of paper after you've done all this, they then say, all right, now you have to take a selfie with yourself. <laughs> I'm not joking. A selfie of yourself holding a piece of paper. On that piece of paper, it has to have the name of the exchange, your name signed with your signature, today's date, and you have to hold that up with your ID card as well and take a selfie of yourself with that. It's like some sort of like a hostage negotiation process or something. It's ridiculous, but they're really going to great lengths to try and make it secure. And, you know, why do they ask for all this stuff? They say it's because of international anti-money laundering laws. You know, they say that they really have to do this because they need to keep tabs that people aren't money laundering and all the rest of it. I don't know the full reasons. Obviously, they want to track everyone's money and what we're all doing, but that's why they say it's for anti-money laundering. So all of the major exchanges um, will ask for some sort, this sort of identification when you sign up. All right, so let's say you've signed up, you've put in your identities, they've said yes, uh, and you've added your payment method. Uh, another thing you, you can do here, go to security. Another thing is two-factor authenticator. Now, two-factor authenticator, it's also just called 2FA a lot of the time, is another way you can secure your account and make it you know that much safer. Uh, the one I use, there's, there's a range of authenticators, but kind of the most useful and easy to find and most used one is obviously Google Authenticator. Google, because they do everything, you know. Maybe I'll make another video about that one, actually. 
um, how to find and how to download the, the Google Authenticator because it gives like an extra level of security onto your account. So that's, that's basically it. What you've done is you've uh, verified your email, you've verified your phone, you have to upload the documents to verify uh, who you are com really more completely, add the payment um, uh, methods, and then add two-factor authentication. Uh, and one of the things that they do on these exchanges is they'll let you buy a certain amount of Bitcoin. But the more um, verification you add, the more types of verification you add, they'll usually let you buy more and it'll increase. Sometimes it just increases with time. You can buy this amount for the next seven days and then after that, it depends on the exchange. But for Coinbase, that's kind of how you sign up. So I'll link here to how to do the, how to get the Google Authenticator. And uh, the next part, which I'll also link, is about, all right, how do we actually buy the Bitcoin now? And then what do we do with it when we've got it?